Hi, welcome to Driving TV and I hope you are well. In this video, I will be helping you when turning right, we have a box in the middle for us to go right. Now, what is the reason of this box in the middle and why do we have it on some roads and not in all roads? Also, for us to go left, sometimes we have a slip road. So why do we have this slip road and why do we have it on some roads and not on all roads? So these are the things I will be helping you in this video. First, I will explain and then I will show you how it's done in practice. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And let's start the lesson. Okay, so um, firstly, I will explain regards to going left with a slip road and going right where there is a box uh, given to you to go right. Firstly, I'll explain going left where there is a slip road. Now, firstly, why do we have a slip road on some roads and why, why uh, we don't have slip roads on the other roads? Now, the reason is because on roads where the road is, uh, where the roads are fast road, maybe 40, 50, 60 plus, on those roads, if you want to go left, you will have to slow the car down and then go left. Now, because you need to slow the car, you will be slowing the traffic behind. And because the road, it's a fast road, you have been given a slip road so that if you want to go left, you can enter into the slip road so that the cars behind don't have to slow down for you. They could just carry on going. Because the roads are busy and it's a fast roads, it is important that you don't slow the traffic behind. And this is the reason why you've been given a slip road for you to enter, then slow the car and then go left. So that way you slowing down on the slip road, you are not slowing down the traffic behind. And this is the reason why uh, they normally give you a slip road on busy roads or on fast roads so that you could enter without causing a um, problem for the cars using on this road. Okay, now how do we know this is a slip road or the slip lane? The way we know is by the divider. The divider between the slip road and the lane will be much smaller and very small dotted whereas the lane divider will be longer. So the lane divider is longer and the divider between the slip road and the lane will be much shorter and much smaller. And that's how we know this is a slip road and these are lanes, okay? This is important for you to know, which I will explain in a minute why you need to know this. So for us to go left, we um, look at the top and left mirror, we signal left and we enter soon as the lane starts, soon as the slip road starts. Why? So that when you enter, then you slow the car to go there. That way, the cars behind could just carry on on the same speed without slowing down because of you. Now, sometimes there could be a bus stop here on the slip road. If there is a bus stop and if there is a bus, then go in after the bus. If there is no bus, then enter regardless the bus stop because you are allowed to drive on the bus stop. So do you enter? So just to repeat, top and left mirror for you to go in there, signal left, don't slow down too much, go into your lane first, then slow the car for you to enter. That way, you're not slowing the cars on this road, on these lanes. Now, the other thing we need to know the difference between lay, um, slip lane or slip road or lanes is because if you are going straight, normally you drive on the left lane, always drive on the left lane. So if there is a, so if you're driving here and if there was another lane joining from the left, you will have to come back to your left lane because that's the normal driving lane but in this case if we need to go straight we don't go into the slip road because this is not a lane many learners in the test because they know that they have to drive on the left lane always 
they soon as they see a slip road they go into that lane thinking this is a lane and then they realize that this is actually a slip lane or slip road and this is why you need to know the difference between the lane marking and the slip road marking okay so if you need to go straight here um, we need to be in the left lane which is this one soon as you come here you've got another lane here don't think this is a normal driving lane and the reason we know that is because of the road markings this road marking is telling us this is a slip road for people to go in and for people to come out people needs to come out will also have the slip road to come and join okay so for example um this would be would have been from here it would be like that okay and this is the lane for you to join here so for you to come in from this road for you to join you need to come into the slip road first match your speed with this lane and then join okay because the road is busy or the lanes are busy you cannot just come in here because they are too fast so come in to the slip road match your speed with this road and then join so just to remind slip roads are for you to go left and to join so for you to go into this road you would use the slip lane or the slip road soon as it starts slow the car here and then you go in for you to join from this road into this road you would come into the slip road match your speed and then you join this road i hope this explain going left now let's talk about going right now sometimes to go right we will be giving a box in the middle for us to go right why is that now some roads has box and some roads it doesn't have a box now the roads where the road are busy maybe because it's a fast road maybe because it's 40, 50, 60 plus. And because of that, you've been given a box. Why? So that if you need to go right, you need to enter into the box, wait for the oncoming traffic. While you are waiting for oncoming traffic, the cars behind could just carry you on going. And this is why you've been given a box. If you don't go into the box, or if the box wasn't there, then that means that the cars behind following you will have to slow down or stop for you because you need to go right now and this is why you have a box if you have a box enter the box so if you are here driving and you want to go right top and right mirror signal right and then go into the box get your car straight and wait for oncoming traffic while you are waiting cars behind could just carry on going and this is why you have a box now especially now in the test make sure that if there is a box go into the box fully and get your car straight and make sure that you don't stop like that because then it's no point of the box because you're still um, causing problem for the cars behind make sure you enter into the box and get your car straight into the box while you are waiting for those cars wait for them if there's no one coming you carry on going now the other thing is if there is no one coming from here you could see no one coming you just go okay you go into the box and you get the car straight and wait is only when cars are coming from the opposite because they have the priority you don't you go in get your car straight and wait if there's no one coming and you know it's clear you just go there and you turn i hope um this explains um, for you to understand. As we drive on this road, um, as you can see, it's 40, which means it's a fast road. And we want to go left, the next road coming up on the left. So uh, we will be looking at the top and left mirror. We will signal left. And because it's a fast road, for us to enter left, we will be looking out if there is any slip road. Because if there is, we will have to enter the slip road soon as it starts and uh, as you can see here now we have a slip road on the left if you look on the floor and if you look on the road markings you will see that's a slip road how do we know it's because of the road markings if you look at the road markings between the slip road and the lane the divider it's it's much closer and it's much smaller like a dotted line 
So that's how we know this is a slip road. So we'll have to enter the slip road soon as it starts, then slow the car, go to second gear, and then we'll enter into the road so that cars behind don't have to stop or slow down because of us. Now here, uh, we will be emerging into a fast road. Now, the, because we are joining a fast road, we have to make sure that we match the speed of that road so that the cars on the road doesn't slow down because of us. So uh, as you can see here, we have a slip road so that we could, we could match our speed with the road and join so that cars already using the road and uh, doesn't slow down because of us. And this is the reason why we have been giving a slip road so that we use the slip road to match the speed of the road we are joining so that when we join the cars following or already driving on the road doesn't slow down because of us. And uh, one other thing I like to remind you all here is that you always drive on the left lane. Why? Because that's the normal driving lane. So regardless how many lanes there are when you are driving on the road, whether two, three, four lanes, you always drive on the left lane. Now because of that, many learners, when they see a slip road, they think that that's a lane joining and they enter that lane and they fail the test. So make sure you know the difference between a slip road and a lane and uh, as you can see here on the left we have a slip road how do we know it's because of the road markings so don't get confused and think this is a lane and don't enter because if you do you will fail your test make sure you know the difference between the lane marking and the um, slip road marking because if you don't then when there is a slip road you will think that's a lane and you will enter and you will fail your test so make sure you know this now as we drive on this road uh, we want to go right the second traffic light so we will be turning right on the second traffic light now the road is fast uh, which means that uh, we have been giving a box in the middle for us to go right. And the traffic light is red, so we'll wait on it's green for us to go right. Uh, because the road, it's a fast road, uh, we have been given a box, which means that uh, if we have to wait for the oncoming traffic, we will enter the box, get the car straight, and wait for the oncoming traffic, and then we will go once uh, we have a gap for us to go so we just wait until the traffic light is green now it's changing so we will drive and then as you can see there is a box in the middle so uh, we will enter the box get the car straight and then we will wait for the oncoming traffic and uh, as you can see here, while we wait, the cars behind don't have to stop or slow down because of us, because we have a box giving so that while we wait, um, they could just carry on going. Make sure that in the test, if you are going right and if there is a box for you to go right, make sure you enter fully, get the car straight while you wait for the oncoming traffic. Because if you don't, you will fail your test. Make sure you use the box while you are waiting for the oncoming traffic. And now it's free, so we will enter and we carry on going. Okay, that's it for today and I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please do give a thumbs up and please do make a comment what you think of the video and uh, hope to see you again on the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.